So, till now we have discussed different basic concepts of what is stoichiometry and all and what are the instruments used for stoichiometry and what are the different types of telescopes used in stoichiometry. So in that we have discussed external focusing telescope which is fitted with analytic lens. This type of telescope is commonly used. So we have to know what is analytic lens. So analytic lens is actually a lens which is additionally fixed and it is usually provided in an external focusing tachometer between the object glass and eyepiece. So what is the advantage of providing this type of lens? While using this type of lens actually the calculation will become very simple. It's because for calculation of horizontal and vertical distances the constant f plus c f plus c means the additive constant f plus c will become equal to zero by using this analytic lens. So what are the essential features of the tachometer? The value of the multiplying constant f by i will be equal to 100 and the telescope should be provided with an analytic lens so that f plus c will be equal to 0. Then telescope should be powerful that means the magnification should be 20 to 30 times the diameter and the vision through the telescope should be clear and bright and it should produce the clear and bright image at longer distances. In classification of the tachyometric method, there are mainly two methods, stadium method and tangential method. We will be discussing about the fixed hair method which comes under this stadia method for this class. Actually in this stadia method both fixed hair as well as movable hair method is there. So coming to fixed hair method, in this method the main area that we have to understand is that in fixed hair method from this name itself we can say the two stadia hair is fixed. The two stadia hair in the diaphragm is actually fixed in case of the fixed hair method. The reading corresponding to the three cross hair is taken top, bottom as well as middle and the difference between the top and bottom will give the staff intercept. Then in the fixed hair method itself it can there can be three cases. The first case is the line of sight is horizontal and the staff is held vertical. And the second case is the line of sight is inclined and the staff is again held vertical. And the third case the line of sight is inclined again and the staff is also inclined. And how it is inclined is that it is normal to the line of sight. With respect to ground, the staff may be inclined, but it is normal to the line of sight. So, discussing about the case 1, that is line of sight is horizontal and the staff held is vertical. So, the figure shows, the this, we, this figure we have seen earlier, the instrument station and staff station both uh, are held vertical and this line of sight is horizontal perfectly horizontal and so that the distance horizontal distance will be the basic equation itself that is f by i into s plus f plus c or f plus d and this horizontal distance d is ms plus c. So this is the case of line of sight is horizontal and staff held is vertical. Now coming to line of sight when it is inclined and the staff is held vertical only. So the figure shows such a figure and uh, this O dash will represent the telescope point, the instrument station is O and this 
you can see A, B and C. Three points marked on this leveling staff. It's because this A, B and C will represent the reading corresponding to uh, the top, bottom and middle hair. And L represent the horizontal distance measured to this point B along the line of sight. And H is the height from the ground to this B. And V is the vertical distance from the line of axis to this B. And capital S will represent the distance between staff intercept, the uh, vertical distance between A and C. Now, to find out the distance, horizontal distance formula, you can you have to solve this triangle. From this figure, this AC is S. So, obviously, this um, and this angle between the line of axis and the line of sight is theta. So you, you may see this angle C, B, C dash will be again theta. So what happens is that this B, C dash as well as A dash B will be equal to S by 2 into cos theta. S by 2 into cos theta. So overall A dash C dash will be S cos theta. So while considering this triangle, what happens O dash, A dash, C dash, what happens is that the horizontal distance uh, equations can be applied here and we can find out the distance L. So L will be K into S cos theta, that is the new intercept referring to this line, S cos theta plus C. So you can substitute uh, for L in the equation, in this case, the equation for horizontal distance is L into, what is the horizontal distance between A and B? This is O dash P dash. O dash P dash will be equal to L cos theta. You can substitute the equation KS cos theta plus C in this and thus find D is equal to KS cos theta plus C into cos theta and solving KS cos square theta plus C cos theta. Similarly, you may find out the vertical distance also and here the vertical distance that is BP dash will be L sin theta and substituting for L the equation will become K sin to theta plus C sin theta. Okay, so these are the two formulas for finding the horizontal distance and vertical distance in case of the Staff held normal and line of sight is inclined to this staff. So you have already studied all the basic formulas and now you may be able to solve this problem. In this problem, uh, here it is given the tachometer was set up on a station A and the readings on a vertically held staff at benchmark and its readings, three hair readings are given here. Then the inclination of the line of sight being plus 1 degree 6 minute. So the data is regarding to the benchmark is given and the theta value is also given. And RL of the benchmark is given and the instrument constant multiplying as well as additive constant is given. So you can find out the elevation of the instrument. Elevation of collimation at the instrument or height of the instrument. And you may you may be able to solve this now. And the answer for this problem is 419.524. So this is the case where the staff is held normal and the line of sight is inclined at an angle of plus 1 degree 6 minute. All the best students.